Brisket is as high in oleic acid as American Wagyu cattle are. All right, I, I know a lot of people have heard about saturated fats, and they may not have any idea what that means. And saturated refers to the individual fatty acids like palmitic acid and stearic acid. And in a saturated fatty acid, let's pick stearic acid. It has 18 carbons. Now the first carbon is an acid group, it's a carboxyl group. It's the other carbons that make it saturated. Every one of those carbons has two hydrogens associated with, except the end one, it has three. It is saturated with all the hydrogens it can take. So that's a saturated fatty acid. Uh, monounsaturated fatty acids, like oleic acid, uh, oleic acid has 18 carbons, but right in the middle of the molecule, it has a double bond. It's a cis configuration, and the only thing you want to remember about that is puts a kink in the molecule and really reduces the melting point. You know, so the melting point of stearic acid is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. You've got to really cook that animal product to get it to melt. Oleic acid is like olive oil. It's, it, the melting point is close to room temperature. So one double bond really reduces the, uh, the melting point. Brisket from our domestic cattle. And so we've measured, oh, well, I guess only about 80 carcasses now, but that's a pretty good representation. And brisket is always very high in oleic acid and very low, much, much lower in saturated fats. So the fat on the brisket is very soft and it's going to have more oleic acid. So as you're cooking that, you see that it, it's more liquid, it's a, a juicier cut, and that's because of the, the softness of the fat.